right, today for week two with our solo robots, we're going to make our first build. The first thing you want to do is slide down your little stoppers with your gear. I had this done before I was recording, but that's how it's supposed to look. And uh, luckily the instruction book is actually pretty good. You just want to make sure you have all your pieces and parts out ready to go. Uh, kind of lesson learned the hard way as, as we're learning and doing these for the first time. Um, so as you're building, one thing that's kind of tricky and you really got to pay attention to, which you'll see here I didn't do in this point, this is when I realized I had the part backwards. So luckily I hadn't built too far and it's easy to just untake and flip it around. Um, but you know what, that kind of stuff is, is going to happen a lot. There's a lot of very similar parts and fronts and backs and things like that. So that's one thing I, I wanted to show that in the video rather than edit it out because I want you to realize there's sometimes if your robot's not doing what it's supposed to do, it's probably a simple fix like that. These I found, these solar robots are so, you have to do things exact the way they're supposed to be. So you really have to pay attention to the instructions and if it's not working, you have to go problem solve and figure out where you went wrong. So that's something if your robot ever doesn't work the way it's supposed to, just go back, go step by step. And there's been multiple times that we've had to do that and figure out where we went wrong. And it's usually something pretty simple. A lot of it is in the details. Once you have this base put together, just make sure it rotates there is what it's supposed to do. That wheel needs to turn in order to make everything work. So this is your base. And this is, here's our base robot. We've got our pegs put in the sides. And we're going to attach this little base that we just assembled to it. Now one thing I found out here, rather than forcing it through really hard, it's better if you kind of use your thumb to push it up. We, we had so many of those little blue pegs go shooting across the room when we try to snap it on. I, I, at first I thought it'd just snap on, but it's better to kind of push them on with your fingers and guide it on, which you'll learn. So now it, it won't really turn once it's in there because that's where it's connected to the gears, so it's going to turn with the motor once it's in the solar. So this is your, now we have the base put on the robot. So we're going to work on the side legs. Now here, it's important to remember with these pieces, there's going to be a right and a left. And there's an inside and an outside. Again, paying attention to the details on your solar robot. So making sure you're putting the right pieces. And all these little blue pieces, there's some that they look so similar. And even following your instructions, there's times that we're like, oh, shoot, we put in the wrong one. And that's okay. I mean, it's all part of the fun, part of the building. And this is where the problem-solving skills come into play. So really pay attention to your instructions. These can be really tricky, these blue pieces, to get in. Uh, we found that if you push them down on the table, sometimes that helps to get them in. Um, so it's just it's just a matter of, of practice here and following. So these parts here that we're doing are the side arms. So this is going to be the side arm that moves and the leg that that helps the robot walk. So once you have them connected, we're going to attach them to our base. Now, when I first built this. I actually put the wrong sides on, so I have them reversed. So right here in my tutorial, we didn't discover this until the whole robot was built and it wasn't working. And we'll show you this video. Like, like I said, I think it's important to show the mistakes so that you can learn. Learn from somebody else's mistakes and you can pay attention. Um, so those legs that we had on there were actually backwards. And so let's... We'll, we'll sh I'll show you the part here in a little bit, which part was backwards, so that you can flip it around when you're doing your build. Again, it's just so important to know. All these parts, there's a right side, there's a left side, there's an inside, there's an outside, there's a front side, there's a back side. There's so many different um, angles and things to pay attention to. So it really just comes down to paying attention. But luckily, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's a fun little toy robot, and if it's not working, you just figure it out, problem solve how to fix it. So these little pieces, these are all kind of the support pieces, and there you have our arm and our leg base for one complete side. So once the one side is put together, you already know what to do for the second side. You're just going to use the opposite 
parts. So we'll go ahead and speed that up for you because, you know, we don't want this to be a forever long video. Um, so basically, we're just going to assemble both sides. And like I said, once the first side's done, the second side's pretty easy. You're just kind of doing the mirror opposite of the first side. Now, see on this one, the arm I actually put on the outside. Again, another mistake I didn't realize until I went to assemble it. And I thought, why doesn't that reach? Well, I had put my arm on the outside instead of the inside. So I'm going to figure that out right here. And that's where I thought, oh, okay, so I go to put it in, and it is not reaching, and that's supposed to plug into the robot. And I thought, why isn't that reaching? And then that's when I realized, oh, I put my arm on the outside, not the inside. So you take it apart, and we're just going to move the arm from the outside to the inside. Reassemble that part, problem solved. So it's good, some good problem solving. That's one thing I like about these solar robots is, it gets you your critical thinking skills there, you, right? You got to problem solve and figure it out, and um, and it is kind of fun because aside from these twelve base robots that you can do, there's there's a lot of ones you could build on your own. It's kind of fun to see see what you can come up with aside from what these did. Now, my guy, when I had him wrongly <laughs> wrongly assembled, he um. He actually did something a little bit different. He, he did work eventually, but he was doing something different than what he was supposed to, which was kind of funny. And um, we'll show you that here in the video once he's all put together. But it's kind of fun to explore and see what, what other things you can get your robot to do rather than just the 12 standard things that it, that it has, the 12 different robots it does. Now this part was a little tricky, so see your wheels here on the side. Both of your wheels, that black circle, you want to make sure the holes are in the same positions on both sides. That was that was tricky, and that was something that was definitely we had to pay attention to and get the right part in the right place. And so now that you've got the sides on, everything's assembled that way, it's time to put the head on. And again, the head's not hard. It's a little finicky because you're working in such a small section, small area. So little kids, little fingers, probably be a lot easier than adults. And then you want to attach your positive and negative wires, making sure they're going in the right sides. And there you have it. There's your robot. Now, pay attention to see that side arm. It kind of, the leg that goes down the side and along the bottom, that's the part I had reversed. So that should have been going the opposite direction. And I'll show you what happened when I did mine the way that we did it. Okay, now the first time, here we have it going. We can hear it running. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Nothing's happening. The motor's, the motor's clearly turning, but nothing nothing was moving. Well, so we're like, what what's going on? So that, we figured out, was just the sides. We had it pushed up all the way, that base where it attaches to the motor. It hadn't been pushed up all the way. So once we pushed it up, all of a sudden, it now it was connecting, and now it's moving. Ta-da! But the problem was, we're looking at it, and this is where we're like, it, it kept catching. So if you bump it, it'd be fine and, and work from it. That's, I'm pretty sure that's not what it was supposed to do. He's just jumping up and down and pounding his arms. He's kind of like he's throwing a little robot tantrum there, right? He's pitching his I mean, it's still cool. It works. This was just not what he was supposed to do. That's when my husband discovered, oh, the legs are on backwards. So once he fixed it, ta-da, there we have our little robot walking the way he's supposed to.